What a pity. U.S. government gives graphic accounts in interim how helicopter carrying we gay, we gay crashed. The Nigeria Safety Investigation Bureau said it has received a preliminary report from the United States National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, on the accident involving Airbus helicopter that crashed and killed the former Airsys Holdings Group Chief Executive Officer Herbert Wigwe. Leadership reports that Wigwe's wife, Doreen Son Chizi, and former chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group, Mr. Bimbola Ogumbaju, and two pilots were traveling on February 9, 2024, near Haluran Springs, California, United States, before the crash happened. The NSIB, in a statement by its director, Public Affairs and Consumer Protection, Bimbo Alamumi Oladiji, said the NTSB gave a graphic account of the accident, explaining that the initial findings suggesting that the helicopter suffered catastrophic damage upon impact, resulting in fragmentation of its major components. The NSIB in the statement stated that the prerogative, prerogative granted by the International Civil Aviation Organizations are next starting to the Convention of International Civil Aviation has the right to assess investigation information on aviation accidents and incidents involving Nigeria registered aircraft or Nigerian citizens in 193 countries that are member states of the ICAO. Therefore, the NSIB noted that it was actively engaging with the NTSB since the beginning of the investigation. As the lead agency, the NTSB has shared the preliminary reports which provides valuable information regarding the flight path, accident scene, and initial findings on the wreckage examination. In the preliminary report shared by the NTSB, it was revealed that NSIB investigators, in collaboration with other relevant authorities and stakeholders such as David Gellack, FAA, Steve good LLCC Vicent Eclabro, yeah, okay, Seth Botha, Botna, Airbus Helicopters Brain, Larry Moore, Safran Group have conducted on site examinations and analysis of available data to determine the factors contributing to the incident. To the accident, initial findings suggest that the helicopter suffered, suffered catastrophic damage upon impact resulting in fragmentation of major components however during the flight adverse weather condition characterized by rain and a mist of snow were encountered as reported by witnesses hinting that reports from law enforcement and eyewitnesses also indicated that several individuals traveling along interstate 15 1 to 15 observed a fireball in the area prompting calls to emergency services. The report also noted that subsequently the wreckage of the helicopter was discovered in the high mountainous desert and scrub brush covered terrain near Aloran Springs, California. Analysis of the accident site revealed a scattered debris pattern about 300 feet along a 120 degree magnetic, indicating a trajectory from an initial impact point which was a 1.5 feet deep 12 feet long and 10 feet wide ground crater containing fragments of the right landing gear skid corporate wiring and cabin floor structure the right skid step protruded upward as a for a 45 degree angle at the extreme eastern edge of the Grand Carter Crater. According to the report, all major helicopter components were identified at the accident site. The helicopter's fuselage was fragmented and the corporate, uh, cockpit and cabin were destroyed. Some debris and vegetation displayed thermal damage, indicative of the extent of the collision's force. The flight control tribes, control tubes and leakages lead, leading up to the flight control servers were fragmented and continuity could not be verified 
all three pitch control links were attached at the swash plates and blade with pitch change horns. The main rotor blades were fragmented and broom strode, and the blade slips and tips were present. Data analysis utilized sources including automatic dependent surveillance broadcast, data operator personnel reports, and eyewitnesses accounts to reconstruct the flight path and sequence of events leading to the accident, the NSIB spokesman stated. Hmm. Can you imagine? This is just say, uh, it's just too much. Hmm. They will, they will definitely and they must definitely give reports. That's it. Thanks for the update. You have been helping thieves in Nigeria to hide and spend money. Ah, ah, good response. Some people were born with such common sense. A signature of sabotage. Sabotage by Trump or Biden. <laughs> we sabotage black bread. If it were in Nigeria now, you will say it's government of somebody. The question for America authority is why allow this company to operate similar after similar disaster recently please who order the flight in a terrible weather perception and what was the intentions please more questions unanswered mother heart should have frightened mrs igwe enough to shout on the pilots to abort the journey in such awesome storm but it has happened who are we to question the creator may their soul rest in peace this death should have spread the spared wife and son or abat himself too bad and sorrowful for me. America and hypocrisy, can you now sanction yourself for doing this kind of a thing? Ah, it's a pity. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Thanks a million.